Hi everyone. It's been a long time since I actually made a video. Actually, wait a sec. You need to actually see this. What's up everyone? It's been a while since I was filming and uploading videos and I'm actually thinking to start something new to implement some new ideas and new skills of storytelling. So today I'm gonna share some stories with you and as well I'm going for a walk to the beach so you will be able to see the beauty of Lithuania. So let's go! I was at 10th grade at school, I always wished to go to the forest and spend the night there with the tent fire, my friends to chill and hang out in the forest because I love nature, I love making fire, picking up mushrooms, everything, the fresh air, singing birds or other creatures. So I had that dream in my head that I wanted to accomplish. But there was one thing that stopped me from going and doing what I wanted to do was my friends and their parents because they were thinking that they were too young as we didn't expect to have any teacher near us. It was kind of dangerous to go there alone and spend the night in the forest. But I solved this issue out. Away from the shore, amongst the waves, exactly where I want to be. So the story began like this. My friends denied, didn't want to go with me because they didn't, their parents didn't allow them. And my parents knew that I'm more independent already at that time at age 15, 16. That I will be able to do whatever I want. I mean like if I will go to the forest that I will survive basically because I was camping a lot with them when I was younger and I didn't actually mention to my parents in the beginning that in the end of the day I was going there alone. I, I was really disappointed when my friends said that they are not able to go and that this precious moment that I was thinking for a few years in my mind just slipped away and like poof and that moment moment didn't exist anymore so I decided that I will not give up on my dreams and I will do it still no matter what so I decided to go there on my own I went and grabbed the backpack put like a axe tent no no fluffy thing on the ground I didn't take a sleeping bag I, either I took a bottle of vodka ignition for the light uh, like the liquid I had like basic things that fitted in the backpack that was pretty much pretty big backpack I would say that fitted everything there. I was leaving already kind of late. It was around 4 or 5 o'clock and I needed to go on the last train station and then to have a, an hour walk. So this is what happened. Hey, I found you. So let's move on with the story. Of course I was a bit scared of going alone there and I wasn't even knowing the particular route to the place where I needed to stay because I was there at that time two years ago the, before I went there and I was small and I wasn't really remembering exactly where I needed to go because when you take off from the last station you need to go around 40 minutes to an hour like straight away in the forest to get to that place we were having that Urselot with the, our school with the thoughts that I'm a uh, Bear Grylls and my journey began from that point that I knew that there is no point for me to turn back because I already spent a half of the day of collecting old things and going to the train and taking a train for two hours and it was already uh, already too much to turn back and go go again so I made my mind clear and I headed straight where where was our meeting point with the school. I knew exactly that the time was working against me just because when I was already working there it was around 6 o'clock and I knew that in the forest it's getting dark early that's why I knew I didn't have a lot of time. Wait a second. He 
went away. So I knew the time was working against me and more time I spend on the way there, the darker it will be, the harder it will be for me to set up a tent, to get some wood for the fire, to just prepare for, for the night in the forest. I managed to get there around 6 or 7 o'clock in the evening. Immediately started to gathering the trees, setting up the tent and by 8, 9 o'clock I was already set up with the fire and with the tent. So sitting near the fire. One second. best spot that I could ever find with this guy, you know, driving around. So let's move on with the story. Of course it was scary to sit there alone in the night and to make the atmosphere more epic I was actually sitting in the dark near the campfire with my iPad and listening to the song if you know it Iron Maiden Fear of the Dark uh, and it was just I remember that moment so clear when I was sitting near the fire and Basically when you sit in the night you cannot see like 5-10 meters away from the fire if you're sitting near it you cannot see because it becomes completely dark uh, and I was sitting there listening to that song and freaking out to myself thinking that you know someone's looking through the dark and I was like ah, 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 where are they <laughs> and it was fun uh, so I was sitting there for a while, you know, just enjoying, just enjoying the nature, the fire. I was satisfied with everything. Uh, and at 10 or 11 o'clock in the night, it was already really dark and I had not much to do. So I decided that it's time to go and try to sleep. And so, yeah, I left the fire burning but I skipped it safe that it wouldn't you know run run away and I went sleeping and that's the tricky part It, will, it was a September, the early weeks of September, and I didn't expect it to be that cold. I didn't have, a, as I mentioned, the sleeping bag, neither the nylon thing that you put to sleep. So it was really, 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 really cold at night. So this is what I did. So the night has came and I started to realize what an adventure I have created for myself without those necessary things that I've just listed. I tried to sleep as much as I can. I was freezing, I don't know, the temperature was really really low. To my mind it was like below 10 degrees. I mean, not below zero but below 10 degrees plus. Uh, I started to use whatever I had. I put it the socks, extra socks that I had on my hands. I used my whole bag uh, as a sleeping bag and uh, I fitted my half of the body there. I uh, wore the second jacket that I had and like I literally was thinking to make a fire in the tent to get to get myself going, I don't know, to get through the night. Uh, it all ended when I uh, couldn't sleep no more. 
uh, on the clock it was around six seven o'clock in the morning so I went out of the tent uh, my hands was like they were frozen I don't know they were shaking I was shaking all, all over the place I was thinking my thanking myself that I took that liquid to for for easy campfire because in the morning all the wood became totally totally wet and I wouldn't be able to make a fire and heat myself up without that liquid so I uh, struggled but I collected somehow with the the hands that were not were not totally listening to me I collected some woods and I actually managed to start the fire uh, and 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 yeah I was heating up myself for an hour or two just sitting near the fire and trying to sustain it and like to keep it up uh, so at let me change the place okay. At nine o'clock uh, in the morning, when I was sitting and heating up myself near the campfire, the first teachers uh, started to come the early in the morning because it will. It was already the day of Turslot, the time that school hangouts in the forest, and uh, the fact one fact that really shocked me when they were passing by, they were like asking me whether I was sleeping here I was like yeah yeah I actually did I was alone here and then they told me damn it do we actually know that we, when we were driving it was minus uh, outside you would see my face it was just like my mind was blown because I didn't have a sleeping bag as I mentioned and I didn't have anything else to heat up myself and it was minus outside and I don't know that that night that night just stuck in my head and uh, it was so cool to have that experience not to sleep and freeze but to be in the forest alone that you are you are basically the the boss for yourself you are the only one who chooses to stay or to leave to go there or stay at home and do nothing so yes and after all everything was good my classmates came and we had really fun 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 day but that night that night was something something that still till this day it's stuck in my heart and I I never actually had the uh, much broader and much extreme experience as that was that night. So what's the moral? The moral of the story is that if you have a passion, if you have a wish to accomplish something, to make something, don't don't stop don't stop yourself from doing it even if it like people can laugh at you from what you are doing from you your decisions but if you honestly believe that your decisions are right and the experience that you will get will be priceless then don't stop yourself like yes it will be hard yes yes spending the night alone at the age of like 14 15 is really complicated thing but the real moral is that if you want to do something do it man do it do it just right now stop stop thinking about what other people think about it it's your time it's your life it's 
just right now you need to make something make something that will light up the fire inside of you and that will motivate you to live and do such incredible things on and on again and thank you very much guys for listening and staying tuned with me today this is, was my story how I spent the night in the in the forest alone without the sleeping bag and during the cold hours I would say that the next story is coming in probably the on the next week so I will keep some b-roll for you right now and I will fly the drone because this place is amazing it's another place when I was going here people were laughing at me like right there and now I have the best view from Wallace so check out the footage stay tuned if you like my video and you like the story subscribe and hit hit the like button and see you in the next video bye have a nice day man Whoa.